Yes. Scour the night with your burning truth. Show the dark place that we are not afraid even here. Oh, hey, Burning Dog fans. I was just losing my mind. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play the Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... On that subject, shout out to rnick93, who left a comment, you know, on the episode where I was wondering, am I just losing my mind right now? Saying, don't worry, Burning Dog Face, you lost your mind ages ago. Probably before the first playthrough, to be honest. But hey, you're in good company. I mean, I'm sure most of us have long since lost our minds, too. <laughs> oh, on the subject of all these jumps I'm not missing, uh, shout out to Elthwar who says, I think it is safe to say that Alan wasn't much of a track athlete with those jumps. Frankly, I would have said the career probably told me that. But, um, <laughs> on the other hand, physics here is pretty clearly loose with the rules. Or clearly pretty loose with the rules. Better to not rely too strongly on it. And before I cross this bridge and get attacked by birds, uh... I thought this was interesting. Shout out to Clunk279 for saying, Well, a Night Springs game might be done like one of the Twilight Zone games. Likely in the fashion of a text or point-and-click adventure game. And, you know, I don't know that it would be a text adventure if it's on a console, but, uh... The point-and-click adventure game does admittedly sound like they could adapt a uh, television story to it pretty easily. I mean, to be fair, I didn't know there were Twilight Zone games, or I probably would have just defaulted to that never heard of those over the years. <laughs> Bitchin'. Now more birds. one of you guys. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even see him. The other guy's distortions made it, uh, hidden. I wonder if you can stop those guys with a bullet. If they're not, you know, free of darkness at the time. I also wonder why I got through that in one go when I died. When I died like four times trying to cross that bridge last time. Well, that's nice. Safe haven. I was thinking about Mr. Scratch and Barbara Jagger. Wake ran oh. for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save No! Him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. You son of a bitch! Oh, right. Fuck. Honestly, I don't know that I'd be doing much better. I mean, it's like an embodiment of every self-doubt Alan has ever had. And I feel like I'd be having trouble against uh, everything uh, uh, I hate about myself, too, you know? Or worse, you know, the part of you that hates the rest of you, as it were. Oops. Yeah, okay, thanks! Yes, that was very cinematic. I really needed to see that. Hmm. God damn. Rock! Oh, 
I can't dodge here. Off you go. I was going to say that guy's not coming back in the sequel, but I don't know that. I mean, to be honest, I know so little about Alan Wake 2, I don't even concretely know if the Taken are returning as enemies. I mean, honestly, the only reason I'm assuming there will be combat is because it's Remedy Entertainment, who A, haven't done a game that wasn't a third-person shooter since the 90s, and B, well, their fucking studio logo is an R with a bullet in it. Come on. What is this? Let's not beat around the bush. You have a lot of problems, Alan. Oh. I do, I do. I'm so glad you decided to come back to me. I'm moving. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. Ah. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. No! I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim, and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Before I do that, give me a moment. Here it is. Obdurate. Adjective. Stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or course of action. I argued this point with him, but he was obdurate. <laughs> I have to say, it's not every day I run into a word I do not know. That is not bragging, that is simply the fact that anything my brain finds interesting, it seems to memorize. <laughs> Synonyms, stubborn, obstinate, unyielding, unbending, inflexible, intrans intransigent, implacable, pig-headed, bull-headed, mullish, stiff-necked, headstrong, willful, it goes on like that. <laughs> I get the message, and... Oh, man. Of course Other Alan is playing along! Of course he is! Because the part that gave up would just... Yes, sure, let's embrace the idea that none of this is real! Come now, Mr. Wake. It wouldn't be guilt that makes you avoid this, is it? Come on, let's hear what she has to say. I find it really horrifying how every time he speaks, it just changes to a close-up of the mouth. Oh. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. 
I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I, I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. Man. That one hurt. That, uh... <clears throat> that kind of cut through, Ian. That, uh, wasn't even about me. Just... Damn! It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that. And that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. Thank you, Alan. I needed that. Oh, yes. Uh, achievement unlocked. Still playing Kerberos. Heartbreaker. Special 2. Have... Have had poison pouring in your ear. I feel like that needed to be translated or something. No, wait, hang on. These are the achievements in the original game. They've had ten years to translate that. Or uh, twelve, even. Or, well, okay, it was eleven when it came out. But still! By the way, I glanced at my uh, Steam account today. I unlocked the achievement for uh, completing the writer in April 2012. So I'm actually a number of months behind schedule. <laughs> oh. Oh, there was something important about the plane. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, you know, I was talking about how I don't remember parts of the story. I realized that I think the only part of the writer I actually remember is the ending. Oh, right, yeah, those damage. My bad! Gotta stand here between the edge and it. Nope! Ah! Oh. Well, I missed the shotgun ammo, but hey, I don't even have a shotgun right now. Oh, I need to reload. That's better. What is this? Oh, that's, that's where the flare gun goes. Right, I don't have that in this one. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna level with you guys. There's a secret area in this DLC, and I wanted to be absolutely certain I didn't miss it. I can't even remember if I found it the first time. Thank you! Oh, yes, there was a thing I meant to get to, like, eight million years ago. My bad. Uh... All right, I had to take a moment to find that. It was, uh... Oh, the information about Agent Nightingale, which we didn't previously know. Uh, here goes. Uh, yeah, apparently this information is taken from the novelization of Alan Wake, because, as I said before, this game wasn't meta enough as it was. Uh, here we go. Uh, Robert Nightingale was a federal agent in the FBI. He was once partnered with an Agent Finn, 
Nightingale and Finn were known as the Righteous Brothers, as they never drank or went against the rules. When Finn started talking about darkness, in quotes, and avoiding shadows wherever he could, Nightingale told Finn to get his act together. Sometime later, Finn was taken by something, taken being in quotes again, and Nightingale became obsessed with finding out what Finn had meant by the darkness. He started to drink heavily to cope with his guilt over his friend's evident death. Eventually, Nightingale began having terrifying nightmares, similar to the ones Clay Stewart and Alan Wake experienced. In his dreams, Nightingale sees a man who very closely resembles Alan Wake. Soon, Nightingale became completely obsessed and paranoid about finding the man in his dreams. And, uh, the section about the actual investigation opens with this sentence. Nightingale went rogue in Bright Falls after being fired from the FBI for unknown reasons prior to the events of Alan Wake. Huh. Okay. I just thought that, would, that was an interesting thing to share, because in-game we didn't get anything about, uh, Agent Nightingale. Oh, jeez! Yeah, you know, in retrospect, I don't know that that was the smartest thing I've ever done. Oh, here we go! Or wait, is this the way it just came out? Is this back where I... That was weird. Stop me dead in my tracks. No, I think this is where I came from. That's weird. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is not the place I was looking for. Embarrassing. Must be on the other side of the plane. Where's my gun? Oh, right there. I have a small one. Derp. Oh, I was starting to say earlier, I was thinking about uh, Mr. Scratch and Barbara Jagger. And you know how he murders people because it's fun. Uh, I don't think she has a sense of humor. I don't think she can enjoy things. I mean, she smiled at one point, but it didn't reach her eyes, exactly. Oh! Aw, oh, nuts! Obvious than this. I guess it is a secret area, isn't it? Pile of rocks. Pile of rocks. God damn it! I just killed you. much more intense light. Oh hey, I've only got one bullet left in this thing. Amazing. Mash that button. So where's the big one? Where's the big one? Keep doing one of each here. This is bullshit! I do not have an infinity of bullets! Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw myself off the cliff and get all my ammo back. I'm full of that. And that's not a shotgun, which sucks. Oh, oh, right, 
get the thing in the plane. No! Well, it doesn't matter. We're going over here. Wow, I never would have seen this myself. Oh, yeah, that's the place, all right. Yeah, this isn't one of other Alan's tricks, and it's not one of Barbara's tricks. Pretty sure this is one of ours. I felt like a typewriter was mocking me. I was supposed to be calling the shots, but for a long time, it had been the other way around. Period. Ooh, ooh. I don't want to jump on the keys. I'll interact with period first and see what that does. Ammo! I mastered it again in the end. I was the writer, and it was just the tool of my trade. I like that. Yeah, the thing I read said that that's how you get the achievement, by interacting with it. Oh, here we go. The words on the paper were secret messages, communiques directly from his subconscious, or so they claimed. But there was nothing real waiting to be discovered here, no great facts to be unearthed, and yet in that very absence of substance, or at least the description of it, was hidden a core of simple, literal truth. Uh, the first thing is what I said. The words were correct, and yet there was no real meaning beyond semantic games. Just an endless string of nonsense masquerading as prose, a torrent of forgettable filler text that piqued the curiosity, but explained nothing. Yeah, that's accurate. That's uh, a pretty good summation of what we've just found here. Flare gun. Recharge. Don't really need batteries, but okay. Flash. Flare! Full. Oh, I've missed you, my friend. The timer has gone, though, so I'll just grab these and be on my way. Hell yeah. Okay, now about those taken. Oh, yes, but first. Achievement unlocked. Creative space. Special 2. Discovered the secret area. I'm not gonna lie, by the way. I was really hoping Heartbreaker would uh, actually be the uh, the thing I was looking for. The, uh, the medical files. Ah, oh, well. Maybe I can make a special video out of that someday. I don't know. I'm burning dog face. Huh. Because we're not heavy enough. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Writer, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again. <laughs> Almost forgot. Till then, stay in the light.